The International Forum Army 2024 has opened in the Patriot Park near Moscow. Here you can see the latest military equipment, MZKT chassis for Iskanders, the light aircraft OSVE, and optics for reconnaissance robots. Delegations from dozens of countries are participating. Russia, Belarus, China, Iran, Vietnam, India, Pakistan. Our country is represented by a separate national exposition, which brings together dozens of domestic defense industry enterprises. Daria Belusova Petrovskaya reports on the latest developments in the Belarusian military industry. The International Military Technical Forum, Army, is being held for the 10th time. During this time, the military political situation in the world has changed dramatically. Therefore, this year only, as it is now customary to say, friendly countries are participating. And there are quite a few of them. Official military delegations from 83 countries have arrived. Four of these countries have separate expositions. These are India, Iran, China, and Belarus. More than 200 enterprises from our country are participating. Essentially, this represents the entire military technical potential of the Belarusian defense industry. Such exhibitions, such international forums like ARMY, allow, first of all, to gather friends who truly advocate for peace and security. In contrast to the collective West, which talks about democracy but, but demonstrates completely different approaches today. Today, both we and the Russian Federation are interested in demonstrating a peaceful policy and are interested in coming to a dialogue. Well, the recent events that are happening and have happened on the territory of the Republic of Belarus, such as the flight of drones through our country without knowledge, without notification, that is a violation of the state border. What is happening today in the Kursk and Belgorod regions clearly indicates the opposite intentions of the West. Therefore, of course, these exhibitions are aimed at demonstrating the capabilities that will deter these challenges and threats. This is the twin-engine aircraft OSVE, a joint product, a collaboration between Belarus and Russia. For now, you can only see a model designed for 19 seats. After testing and entering mass production, Belarus could become the main producer of the civilian version of this aircraft. The technical project stage is currently underway. The aircraft's design is almost ready. The first test is planned for 2025-2026. There is already an agreement, a program signed for aircraft manufacturing in the Russian Federation, involving about 178 employees. The aircraft need to be developed by 2030. Well, most likely this program will be extended, therefore mass serial production. The capabilities of our domestic optics are widely represented. For example, the Manul observation device. This is a binocular that can spot a living target at a distance of 8 kilometers. They are now planning to install them on special tracked platforms, which will be remotely controlled. Such a reconnaissance robot literally becomes a second pair of eyes for a person. Yes, these are eyes at a distance. Moreover, eyes that work at night with a thermal imager, a night channel, and a laser rangefinder. So, these are good eyes. And strong legs for air defense systems are the products of the Volod company. It is the chassis of the Minsk wheel tractor plant that makes the Iskander and Polonez stable. After the incident with drones that illegally entered Belarusian territory and were destroyed, it is these missile systems and multiple launch rocket systems that will guard our border. It is important to understand that for Western countries, for Ukraine, for the Kyiv regime, as well as for Belarusian opposition in exile, dragging Belarus into a major war is one of the main goals. Therefore, we must be vigilant. And the fact that certain sections of the state border are being reinforced again, with border protection units being deployed, is the right decision made by official Minsk. Because we need to respond to this. We need not only to keep our powder dry, but also to demonstrate our strength when necessary. And it is precisely such muscles that the Belarusian army is demonstrating today, by order of the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, President Alexander Lukashenko. And I think this will stabilize the situation and make a large-scale repetition of what happened impossible. The Army Forum is not only a demonstration of military-industrial developments, but also real contracts. Contracts with allied countries that understand that in today's tense geopolitical conditions, a high-tech army is the key to peace and security for their states. Daria Busova Petrovskaya Alexander Lubitlev, Satellite News Agency, Patriot Park, Russia.